Here is a really typical exam question shows up on the exam. So let's do a quick analysis and see how we find inverse cosine or this type of problems. All right, so here are the steps. Whenever we're giving an inverse function of something, we're going to rewrite this and we're going to let the theta equal to this thing. And then that's just another way to write cosine of this angle becomes a minus radical 3 over 2. That's the step 1. We're going to rewrite this inverse cosine. Step number 2 says that we're going to locate the theta. Now knowing the cosine theta is minus radical 2 over 2, we're going to draw the cosine curve. Inverse of cosine is defined between 0 and pi. And that, that's a pretty important piece of information. Now knowing that, we're going to read the curve. At minus 1, and this is corresponding to angle of pi minus radical 3 over 2 is less than that, but bigger than pi over 2, which uh, corresponding to 0. So here is where our angle is. It's between pi over 2 and pi, correspondingly as in quadrant number 2. So in this angle, quadrant number 2 over here, what you can see is, that, well, here's our triangle. Uh, minus radical 3 over 2 is the x value and the unit circle radius is 1, so corresponding to this angle, and this angle happened to be 150 degrees. Now, let's write up the solution. All right, so here's the solution. Uh, we're going to rewrite this one and call, let, let this whole term be a theta, because the inverse of something, uh, inverse of cosine gives you angle, uh, cosine of this special angle, and then it's minus 3 over 2. Now, this step is pretty important. you got to realize the cosine inverse of a number is an angle. Okay. Now, once we have this one written, written this way, we can draw the cosine curve. Inverse cosine is defined between 0 to pi, and this is called the inverse cosine zone. Uh, between 0 and pi, we can see, well, if uh, minus 1 corresponds to pi, the, th the number we're looking for is minus radical 3 over 2. So it's uh, right around over here. Drawing the line over here, we read this angle is between pi and pi over 2, which gives us the quadrant number 2. Knowing it's a quadrant number 2, here I drew this angle. Uh, the cosine of this angle, of course, is the x value in the unit circle, and the sine is the uh, y value. Since uh, sine of the y value of this angle here is uh, half, half is here, so this angle here is 30. That leaves this big theta is 150 degrees. Write it all together, cosine inverse of the minus radical 3 over 2 is equal to 150 degrees. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment or share this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.